Percy to the rescue. One day near Christmas, Thomas was surprised to see the vicar leading a group of children, all dressed in their best clothes, onto the platform at Farquhar. Teachers from the school were there too, and while they helped the excited children into Annie and Clarabel, the vicar stopped for a word with Thomas and his driver. It's the school Christmas party, he explained. This year we're having one big party for all the valley schools, so we shall be leaving you halfway down. When everyone was ready, Thomas set off. They reached the middle station safely and had to wait for Daisy before going on. Daisy was glad of a rest when she arrived, for she had had a heavy load of children too. The vicar said goodbye to Thomas and went towards the exit. Suddenly he stopped. A worried look crossed his face, and with a word to one of the teachers, he hurried back to Thomas and his driver. This is awful, he said. I've stupidly left my costume behind. Costume, reverend, asked the driver. Yes, I'm to give out the presents, and I was going to dress up as Father Christmas. But I've left my costume in a box on the seat at Farquhar station. Thomas's driver scratched his head. Any hope of Daisy getting there back in time? he asked. No, replied the vicar worriedly. I'm supposed to be ready in twenty minutes. Percy could do it, suggested Thomas. He's there already. He was shunting when we left. Well done, Thomas, exclaimed the driver. I'll go and telephone, and then we must be off. Daisy's passengers said they didn't mind waiting, but it wasn't long before they heard a breathless peep-peep in the distance. Percy bustled importantly round the curve and stopped beside Daisy. His driver handed a box to the vicar, who thanked Percy and hurried off to the party. A little later, the fat controller came to see Thomas, Percy and Daisy. The vicar of Farquhar and all the teachers, he said, have asked me to thank you for your quick thinking and for helping to make the children's party a success. We are here to give service to the public, and it is incidents like this which prove that we do so. I am proud of you all. Thank you and a very Merry Christmas to everyone.